Holy Wire Mod here, this tutorial 14b in Expression 2 series where I'm going to be covering the blacklist, whitelist, and how to make a weapons checker also for roleplay servers, which is pretty fun. So let's start by defining a list, we'll call of array, and that's going to be an output so we can use debugger for this one, and we're going to have i for a, um, a while loop. So let's start by actually making the weapon checker, or actually just an entity sniffer, I guess you can call it. So we're going to say that we're going to look in a sphere, remember from last time, and that, that's going to be at the expression 2's position. We're going to extend that sphere out 25 units, and we're going to find sort by distance, so we know what's what, and the origin of that command is going to be at the entity position. So the distance away from the entity commission's uh, position is going to set priority onto this list right here, which, if you remember, we use bind to array. And we're going to initialize our i equals zero. So none of this should be really new to you at all. It's just a pure review. And we're going to set list, the count of list. It's going to go from the first entry to the last entry. And then we're going to increment i++ plus plus it, because i starts at zero and a list starts at index number one. Then we're going to print list at that index and that type on the list is going to be a type entity. Alright, and just to make it less confusing we're going to make a separation line in the chat. Alright, and also one more thing. I want this to happen every one second. If you remember, we can use um, find can query, and that will do some fun stuff. So anyway, there we go. We have a weapons checker. It's looking for anything within the 25 units of the expression two chip. So right now we have nothing. Function vehicle clip is actually because it's on the ground. Um, if I go near it, it'll say holy. And interestingly enough. Uh, since my entity data is at my feet, like my vector position everything, you can actually get all my weapons involved. So, let's get the debugger, as I said earlier. And you see on the list to the left, it says weapon shotgun, crossbow, and uh, magnum RPG, and if a step away it says nothing, if a step close it says just my name, but at my feet, that's where you get all the weapons and stuff. So, yeah, this will find pretty much any entity around. You can, uh, put this physics prop by it. Uh, you can also go grab some kind of vehicle and they'll recognize that as well. You can uh, not spawn into the ground, do this one instead. So you can do anything. So actually, let's make a filter to this and this is going to really be a good introduction to blacklist and whitelist. So starting with the blacklist, we're going to start by saying if first or duped, all right, and then we're going to make our brackets. And a blacklist pretty much says um, what you're going to remove from the find search. So anything on this list, say I put my own name on it or I put my own uh, player, we're going to exclude the player owner, which is me. And now, when I get close to the chip. It will say all my weapons data and everything, but it won't actually say my name. Let's actually bring this uh, away from this prop. Alright, now see it's, it doesn't say my name at all. Now, what's interesting is you have a bunch of blacklist data types. You have player, model, entity. Let's go over this real quick. Model. You have entity and uh, class as well. So, player and model both I mean, player and entity actually both get stored on the same type of blacklist because the blacklist is divided into those three sections of entity, model, and class. And uh, let's say we want to actually cancel that out and say allow entity, which, remember, I could put player here as well and it'll be the same thing. Now, when I do that, it removes me from the blacklist because I'm now allowed, again, in the search thus exclude and allow, and you should associate with that with blacklist only. Now we can actually clear this blacklist out again with alternate methods such as find clear black entity list, and since the, remember the player is the same thing as an entity, it's going to get rid of me from that list as well. 
so now I'm able to be found. And we can also use just clear blacklist and now get rid of everything uh, on the blacklist, on all three blacklists, so it permits that search. However, if I say clear black model list, because player's an entity and we're clearing only the models on the blacklist, I'm now going to be on the blacklist. So that gives you an idea of blacklist. Now whitelist uh, is very similar except the opposite. Instead of saying what's not going to be on the list, you're saying what's only going to be on the list. So you say find include entity and we're going to put the owner right here. And now it's only finding me. I can jump on it. It's not getting my weapons data. I can bring this expression to chip to these props right here. It's not picking it up, not picking up the ground or anything. And that's exactly what I want. And just like the blacklist, it has a clear or find clear black or white list, excuse me, find clear white entity list and all that. So you can even use find disallow, which is the whitelist variant of this command uh, owner, and it's going to remove me from the whitelist and it's going to permit everything to be found again within the range. So that's a general idea of list and stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And until then, I'll see you next time.